The second kind of constraining we need to look at is the point constraint. The point constraint works based on position. So for example, I have this cone here and I have this prism here and I need this prism or I need this cone to be at exactly the same point where the prism is at any time I translate this prism from one point to another. Now this constraint only deals with translation it doesn't deal with scale it doesn't do with rotation so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to select the parent then go over and select the child go to constraint and then click on point constraint we need to turn on the two setting box just to make sure that offset is turned on once offset is turned on i'm going to go ahead and hit apply and then close now you see that whenever i move the prism the cone follows the rotation doesn't affect it, neither does the scale affect it. The only thing that affects this type of constraint is the translation. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and don't forget to turn on notifications so that you get updates the next time we upload a new video. Peace.